Hello, my name is Smriti Kartikeyan and I'm here to talk about an article we published recently in End Systems where we talk about how we implement a large-scale wastewater monitoring system on a large campus um, like UC San Diego. Here we used a building level wastewater monitoring system. For instance, each of the wastewater samplers is set up to cover individual buildings and all 350 buildings are covered in our wastewater program. We have about 125 of these samplers spread through campus, picking up wastewater samples on a daily basis, which are then brought to our lab and analyzed on the same day. And once we get the results back, they're pushed back into a interactive map, which is available as a public dashboard. So here on this image, you would see the campus GIS. GIS just stands for Geographic Information Systems, which shows essentially the sewer network and the campus buildings which lay on the sewer network. All of these tiny boxes you see here are essentially university buildings. And all of these are the locations of where we have our wastewater sampling devices. And every time we pick up a sample and run the sample after analysis, you can see the results get updated here, which is an interactive dashboard, which is public facing. So all you go over here is go over and then you can scroll over to see how each building was doing on a certain day. A red indicates that this particular building contributed to a positive wastewater sample. A blue indicates that we did not find any um, sign of SARS-CoV-2 RNA in the wastewater associated with the buildings. And this dashboard gets updated every day with data from that day. So it is pretty dynamic and changes, as you can see, with time. This could potentially be very useful globally, especially when testing is limited and as environments start to reopen, this could be a potential tool in environmental surveillance for safe reopening of campuses and schools.